Quasar's inner loading component allows us to show some sort of loading state within another component. That's why it's called an inner loading component, because it's going to be inside of something like a, like a Q card, for example. In fact, that's what we'll use in this example. Q-card, and then we'll have a Q-card-section inside of there, and that can have some text, so we'll just say lorem, and then tab to get some lorem text in there, and then a Q-card section, which is going to hold a photo. In fact, we probably don't even need a section for this. How about we do the photo at the top, because I like this design a little bit nicer. Q-image, and then we'll say the source is equal to https slash slash picksum dot photos and we'll get an image that is 250 by 250 and I might set a maximum width here or maybe that'll do let's see what that looks like yeah I'm going to set a max width style is equal to max width and how about 300 pixels there we go maybe a little bit more that'll look nice 450 so this is something that we can just start playing around with for showing our spinner Next, I just want to have a little bit of code which is going to mimic a backend request. So let's import ref from view. And then we'll also come in here and say const showing is equal to a ref, and that will be true by default. So by default, we will have the spinner showing. Then I'll say set timeout. And VS Code gives me this lovely snippet that I can use. And then we'll make that 1,500 milliseconds. And then after that, we'll set showing dot value equal to false. Okay, I think that's good. Next, we'll come in here and we'll actually add the spinner in. We can do that by saying q dash inner dash loading. And all we need here is showing, and we'll set that equal to showing, that variable that we set before. How cool is that? Check it out. And we get another spinner with the image as well. So maybe rather than a Q image, I'll just make this a normal image component so we don't get that other spinner. There we go. So that looks really good. What else can we do with this to make it even fancier? We can change the size. So let's set that equal to maybe 100 pixels. And then we get a much larger spinner. And you can go down as low as you want, maybe 22 pixels. Yeah, but I think 100 looks good. So let's change it to that. We can change the color, of course. So let's set that to our primary app color. That looks good. Then we can change the transitions as well. So transition dash show, and I'm gonna set that equal to scale. And then I'll do hide equal to scale as well. And then when it hides, it's going to use that transition. I might have to refresh for that one. Okay, it's because I spelled transition wrong. T-R-A-N-S-ition. <laughs> there we go, now you can see it's showing and hiding. All right, next we can say transition duration as well. Transition, I almost spelt it wrong again. <laughs> Dash duration, and let's set that equal to 1000 pixels. So you can make this um really slow. Sorry, not pixels, seconds, milliseconds. Save it, refresh the page, and there we go. It looks a little bit funny, but you get the idea. So let's get rid of those for now and see what else we can do. We can also add a label. So let's say label is equal to fetching. And now we just get that little label at the bottom there. And then we get a little bit of extra flexibility over this by saying label dash class. And let's set that equal to text gray eight. There we go, just sort of grays it out, makes it a little bit more understated. And I think that would look better if we change the color here equal to something like gray dash nine. And there we go. And then another thing we can do is change the style. So label dash style, because you might want to change the font size, for example. And I like to do that in line with a style tag, 1.2 EM. Let's see what that looks like. Very nice. Now, last but not least is that we can actually change the spinner itself. So let's get all of the label related functionality. In fact, we can get rid of everything here because we're going to be doing things from scratch now. Q dash spinner dash gears. So this is one of the spinners that Quasar gives us by default. And you can check out the docs to see what spinners we get. And now we can say the size here is equal to something a bit bigger, like 60 pixels. And there we go. Now we get the gears as a spinner. And I think that's really good if you want to show that a job's happening in the background, for example. So maybe, maybe this is going to hit your server and then do something on the server. And you don't want the user to be able to make more requests until the jobs on that server are actually done. In which case, I think the spinner gears would be a really nice example. And that's about it for this component. Another one to add to your toolkit. All right, I'll see you in the next video.